three broken ribs, partially collapsed lung. I'm surprised my nose didn't get broken, but I'm still pretty. And uh, <laughs> Jimmy Singleton has a pretty good attitude considering he was beat up for just trying to help a woman on this Broward County Transit bus. It's September 17th when plantation police say this man in the striped shirt begins harassing a 22-year-old woman on her way to the doctor's office to find out how long she'd been pregnant. It was crude. The woman gets up, then sits near 58-year-old Singleton, where the harassment continues. Singleton says at that point he told the man to be quiet. I just told him to give it a break, give it a rest, shut up, basically, you know. And I wasn't using profanity or anything like that. I just suggested that the guy just kind of give it up. But that set the man off. He punches Singleton, who then pepper sprays him. The beating continues, and Singleton ends up on the floor of the bus, badly injured. I wasn't thinking at all, except, wow, this hurts. <laughs> I was thinking, ouch. <laughs> Singleton spent eight days in the hospital, and he, just as police want to see the man who launched the attack, arrested. Well, we don't know who he is at this point in time. Well, we would like to arrest him. Uh, nobody deserves to get beat up anywhere or on a bus, especially uh, under these circumstances. Faced with a similar situation in the future, Singleton doesn't hesitate. He would do it again. Yeah, I would. I don't like to see people treated this way. I don't like, especially people that would be considered underdogs. It's just not my nature to let underdogs get abused.